Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. Tonight's project, we have a <clears throat> bottom mount turbo manifold for an E36. It's a spa cast in Brazil. It's very old. I've had this for probably six years now. And I had it, I took it off an engine that I blew up. I'm getting ready to put it onto a new engine. I need to dress up the turbo flange here. This too, I would assume is warped. I mean, this is a copper gasket that's literally melted. Um, this thing has just seen thousands of heat cycles at the track. You know, you make a lap, you make a couple laps, this thing gets glowing hot, then you sit there and cool down. Then I hit another lap, it's glowing hot, sit down, cool down. It's done that for so many times, countless, countless times. So I just want to give this thing a refresh for the new engine, get everything sitting square, that way when I put it together we have no leaks. Oh, that's not good, boys. That's not cool. <sighs> not cool at all. One for two there. So by far the most difficult part of jobs like this is the fact that none of these surfaces are parallel to each other and they are like multi-planar different. Like you can see that this flange, I've finally gotten this flat with the table so now we can machine it and work with it. You see you got a crazy slope on this one, turbo angles that way, just crazy. So anyway, we got a combination of machinist jacks, one, two, three blocks, some toe clamps, a couple shims. Anyway, this thing is in there as good as I'm gonna get it and it's perfectly flat to the machine. So now we can drill this broken stud out and face this flange off. Visually, I find the center of the hole there. Touch it with the center drill, see if you still agree with it, and zero the DRO so we can get back to this spot. I'm gonna bring it out so I can see a little better. That's why it's important to zero it. And that is as good as I'm gonna need to get. So now we know where our center is. So let's give that a real drill and we'll start working our way up towards the minor thread diameter. Hopefully just peel the remainder of that stud out, leave the original threads there. Okay, so I felt it drop through the bottom of the stud there. So we are through, which means we can now get penetrating fluid to the back side of the stud and the top side of the stud. Might get lucky and get this thing to back out.
Not sure how well you guys can see, but it grabbed what was left of that uh, stud, tore it to pieces, left the threads untouched. It looks great in here, it looks like new. Got that out, excellent. I'm gonna take a tap. Let's chase all these, clean them up, Miller flat. I really need a tap socket. Hey, that went great. She is silky smooth. You can see tool marks here, but you can't feel them. It's actually trammed very well. Cut this with a carbide 3 8 two flute end mill. Uh, this manifold has a very hard, like oxidized layer on it. Cause I already tried to cut this a couple months ago and it just tore up some high speed steel. So anyway, um, I got brand new studs for this. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in and this flange is done. Ain't that pretty. What a pain in the ass this fixture was. Probably took me an hour to get this manifold squared up with the table. Just nothing to hold to. You know, I got an angle plate back here, clamped to this. I got everything going on over here. Got welding wire in the jaws of the vise. Just trying to get all of my constraints correct. So this thing is in here solid now, and she's nice and true. Let's give it a whammy. 60 thousandths off the center. Okay, so that went very well. Nice and flat now. Uh, I had to take a lot off of this, like 60 thousandths to get her flat. This thing was so warped. I hope now that it's heat cycled a thousand times over six years, and it, I think it, I hope it took a set now and it's not gonna move again. 60 thousandths off the flange all the way down there. I mean, it's it's gotten a little thinner than I would like, but anyway, she's flat there, she's flat there. All right guys, so it looks like we saved this one from the scrap pile. So this thing is some old iron. It has seen it all. So now that I got the flanges flat, turbo is gonna seal up great. It's gonna seal up great to the cylinder head and then the wastegate pipe where he's gonna actually weld the wastegate pipe directly to that because those bolts aren't accessible to me when I'm in the car anyway. So anyway, this has been a cool one. Um, first time doing this, worked out awesome. Definitely takes some time though. Probably have two hours into just uh, clamping this thing and fixturing it and getting it true so I could actually mill it um, You know mill it evenly make it right. So Anyway, thanks for watching spank ranch garage. Talk to you next time